What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Scriptly Adapted. Mm -hmm. Today, we are bringing you the series finale. Mm -hmm. The final, well, not this show, not the series finale. No, no. This show. no, 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 we're not going around in. for a while. The series finale of the show close to my heart, Kate. Mm -hmm. Probably close to yours. Yeah, just like that. Succession. Indeed. HBO's long run, not long running, not right? At all. But extremely successful show. Four seasons. Easy watch if you haven't watched it, but you heard of your friends talking about, man, did you see what Kendall did? Or who do you think is going to be the new CEO? If you've had friends like that, then you can catch up on the show, which is now all streaming on Max. You know who's my friend like that? That's one. But go ahead. T tell us what you love most about the show. This is probably, this is probably top five. Not top five. Top four because I can't think of my fifth favorite show. Uh, but top four favorite shows of all time. Okay. I got four solid ones. This is definitely within the top four. Did anyone ever tell you that when you do these things, you have to do the ground numbers? I, I, I have four for you guys. I got another one else. It's, it's okay. definitely um, solid writing all around. Mm -hmm. Acting is amazing. Um, this, is this season was probably my favorite season. Uh, epi the episode where uh, Logan, Dies unexpectedly. No one knew. There was no. There was no hint. There was no rumors. There was no like uh, anything. It was. It was a very well kept secret that that was going to be the episode where Logan dies, and it was probably the 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 most the perfectly acted episode of a drama yeah. that I've seen since probably a Breaking Bad or Sopranos. Oof. I give it. It's up I would there. agree with that. That episode definitely up there. That episode was uh, the acting was superb. They, I think, articulated it or exhibited it the way mm -hmm. that you would think someone would be. Right. Yeah. However, I think the episode that was the best for me, that really reflected who they each of them were as a reflection of Logan Roy, was the funeral episode. Interesting. Yeah. Ooh, the funeral episode. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did you think the funeral? Because, episode? because that was a good episode. <laughs> No, that was definitely great. I, I think it. I think it really was a great, authentic re reflection because each of them showed glimpses of who they really were, based on who their father was mm -hmm. and how he influenced them in their lives, based on who they were. Right. And you know, Roman couldn't even give a speech; he was just so distraught. Baby, he was coddled. But right? also, he thought he had it all packed away nicely in terms of his grief. You know, having done that pre-grieved, he called it. Um, you know, he couldn't even give the eulogy. Um, yeah. Kendall gets up there and delivers this powerful and, and look at me, you know, I, I can be up here and, and have it together and speak it from him and, you know, do all these things. And then Shiv gets up there and she talks about, you know, just from, I think, a daddy's little girl perspective. And that, it was just beautiful to see how they broke it down based on each character. Um, yeah. That because, was ultimately my favorite episode. Because each character was definitely raised different or, oh, yeah. or had a different type of relationship with Logan, right? Logan. Imagine Logan as your daddy, right? Dropping F bombs at soccer games, but not at the coaches, at you because yeah. you're a failure to him. Like, it's just some, it's psychologically scarring. And you see the scars from each yeah. actor, um, each character um, in different ways, man. And this final season, which I am very upset and saddened mm. that it's, I'm saying final season because I think they could have gone on at least one more season. Make it five. I like brown numbers. I like five would have been perfect. Okay, but, but the thing is... Um, One more season, okay, guys. All right. But the other thing is... Come on, Okay. okay. Um, they could have gone on, but the thing is... Why not? Why not? They didn't need to. It was fine the way it was. Yeah. What would have the last season have done? We knew that Madsen was going to get it. Spoiler alert. No, we all didn't. Y'all should have seen this by now. No, we, we didn't, Kate. You. Yes, we did. Because the episode before that... We knew. We Oh, no, that, ep that same episode... We saw the siblings come together in the kitchen and 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 make this nasty concoction mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. for for Kendall to drink as of like them passing the torch of we're not gonna fight you for the CEO throne. It's all you. And they had this brotherly sisterly bond, this kid bond, and you thought for one moment, quick moment, for one moment you thought that they were gonna come together. Yeah. As one unit. You wanted that to happen as the viewer. Didn't happen, guys. You wanted it to happen as the viewer. But you know why it would not have been authentic? What? Because it would not have reflected the tone of the entire series. And not because characters are not able to change. Right. But because the patriarch 
of and the antagonist, really, because that's who Logan Roy was. Mm -hmm. He wasn't really a protagonist. He was an antagonist. He set the tone for the entire series of how he raised his children. And so it did not feel natural. It would not have felt natural. And it's a sad thing to say, really, because you want to see characters come together. You, do. you want to see them evolve. But if you compare this family, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be you ready for this. If you compare the Roys the Roy. to the Pearsons, right? Well, this is yes, this is, this two is different shows. Thing. You're going to want to see the Pearsons come together, even though they might have disagreements or whatever, which they do naturally because they're siblings, right? But the difference is, is that. They were not cultivated or nurtured to be at each other's throats. Mm. That was not the tone of the show. That was not the tone of the family uh, model, right? The Roy's, on the other hand, is meh, meh, meh. Yeah. everyone's gonna like bite each other's head off to try to get to where they need to be, and that's what the saddest part of the series is because they are family. Right. So that scene in the kitchen, while beautiful, if it had gone the other direction would not have been authentic. That scene was beautiful for when it was and what it was. But it can was you mean to, to tell me else. that that didn't give you a glimpse of hope that this show was no. turning a tide for the final no. episode? It and definitely you know did that for me. And you know what? It gave me a sense of satisfaction. I got tricked. This is going to be crazy, okay? Don't send me hate mail. I got but, it. But it gave me satisfaction when Shiv actually went the opposite direction and was like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. I actually was strangely satisfied that she did that because I expected that from her. I do not, Shiv was not a warm character. No. I didn't expect her to be all warm and whatever, like with Kendall and Roman. I mean, she but why? Because she was Roman. also pregnant, Kate. You got to take into account that the, Please. listen, these writers Please. are also thinking that. These, these are, they are creating characters. You know why the pregnancy was beautiful on the show? And I'll tell you why. It wasn't to change Shiv. What was beautiful about the pregnancy on the show showed you that a woman can still aspire to be what she wants to be in corporate and not have her entire personality and aura change because she's going to be a mother. Mm, deep. She still, I think she, right? Message. Message. Oh, okay. Message. Wow. So that, that is why the pregnancy was written in. It wasn't written in because she was going to change. No. But the pregnancy to me. Do you me, to sound it like you're speaking through a megaphone? The, the, yes, I do. That, that's, that's key. That's, I'm going to make sure that people hear me. But that pregnancy, to me, does come into play in the final scene. That's the final scene, y'all. Uh, that's Shiv and your boy Tom, who's now CEO. He's the man now. In the truck, going to wherever the pit house they live in is at. And that scene, to me, spoke a lot of words. It spoke that, more about him than it did. It spoke him. to me that, it spoke to me about both. No, if you looked at his body language, and you brought this up. Uh, yes, his body language. looked at his had body language. Had a little language, swag, had a little Tom, confidence. Tom was the most evolved character in this entire series. My favorite character in the show, by the way. Me too. Yep. But Tom also was super like, and that's why they wrote it like that, because it was completely the antithesis of what you thought it was going to be because mm. Tom throughout the entire series was kind of brown noser. He always wanted to get on top, but he was always looking for Logan's approval. But in that moment, at the very end, at the pinnacle of this series, his whole aura just changed and it was off. It was real. He was the man. And it was genuine. And it was like, oh snap. Like he- he got the big office in the corner. He's it. Yeah. This is it. I mean, there's no one else. The and Roys so, are gone. Yeah. They are no longer in power. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Roys are gone. And it just so happens to be a man who is an outsider, uh, outsider, Shiv's uh, husband, so to speak, yeah. that now takes the throne and now leads this corporation. Even if he's a puppet or whatever, Tom's so happy because he, now he is the boy. I don't think he was gonna allow himself to be that puppet though. So in the scene where Matson and Tom are having dinner, and Matson's, and Matson's alluding to wanting to have a more, I would say, physical intimate. relationship if he wanted to, intimate relationship with Shiv because he's attracted to her physically, um, and kind of dangling that carrot in front of Tom. It was almost like Tom sold Shiv out to get what he needed. And it's almost like Shiv now is going to be a pawn in Tom's game. And I think she's mm -hmm. gonna be used by Tom so Tom can climb the ranks and do what he needs to do. So you're not saying that Tom potentially is gonna pimp out Shiv? Not literally, but it, it, professionally, well, yeah. Professionally, he's gonna pimp but out Shiv. Also, hey, but, but also, hey, I mean, are you mad about it? I no, don't, don't, look, I'm because Tom deserves sorry, it. But Tom deserves it. it. Tom ducked. Bob and weed, yeah. do the jab, and now your boy is now. You know, it was my favorite scene. Now he's now he's now the man. You know what my favorite scene was? My favorite scene in the entire four years. 
by the week. The entire four years or seasons of the show was the funeral episode where Tom was, it was very interesting and I said this to you, Tom did not show up to the entire funeral until they had the uh, get together, whatever, mm. at the house. And he's so exhausted mm. by from running ATN and doing all those things that he starts to cry. But, but it's not crying because he's tired, it's what it is, but it's crying because he's trying to prove to Shiv, like, I'm sorry I wasn't here, but you know what? I was with Logan in his final moments. Right. I already said was, my goodbyes. Logan, yeah. And I think it was a mixture of pain and grief and fatigue and all these things. Yeah. And honestly, those two minutes of watching that, that was, I think, the best performance that he did huh? the entire series. That, what's his, name? So what's his name again? The Matthew actor? McFadden. The, the actor who plays Tom was so chef's kiss. kiss. So perfect. <laughs> the last, like you said, Kate, the last mm -hmm. few episodes of this season, that performance by Tom, the, the argument him and Shiv had, which mm -hmm. was one of the most heart-wrenching, so destructive <laughs> arguments I've ever seen by a couple yeah, on television, um, was so heart-wrenching. And then you have the performance, quick, two minutes, where he's crying, like Kate said, mm -hmm. from, from, from exhaustion and grief. Yeah. And then the, the quiet, subtle, just posture with the handout. Yeah, you're just oh, supposed okay. to put your hand. And Tom just, with his Gucci suit, rides to the penthouse. Is it Gucci suit? Probably Gucci, I'm yeah. guessing Gucci. Okay. Which people could wear Gucci, I suppose. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and uh, he just, now he represents everything Kendall wanted. Listen, y'all, y'all need to watch Succession. Indeed. In Succession. <laughs> see what I did there. In Succession. Mm -hmm. is, that how it, is that how it goes? I don't think so. Watch Succession on Max. I give this series A+. So much and show. I don't give I don't give so shows much the show. No, you don't. But a so much so that his he, his heart is broken because now he can't get into Ted Lasso, which I'm sorry, friends, is excellent, and that's another. That's show. next. Listen, y'all, we'll be back. Uh, anything else for no. people? Succession, y'all better watch it. Okay. Peace. Goodbye.